nice hat. Just bought it, Pat. You need one in this wind. Good morning, Dorothy. Oh, that's a lovely hat, Julia. Don't you think so, Mrs. Goggins? Yes, very nice. Oh, you certainly need a hat in weather like this. Well, I must be off. Bye, Dorothy. I'd love a new hat. Oh, that's an unusual flower, Jess. Funny, I haven't noticed it before. Hiya, Pat. Hello, Bill. Here you are. Thanks, Pat. Bye. <laughs> Come on, Jess. Did you do it? last night? Only a little bit, but I couldn't do all You've got to be quiet now. Mr Priggle's got a letter. Morning, everyone. Now, this should interest you. Two very rare butterflies have gone missing from Pencaster Zoo. Wow! And they've offered a reward of free passes into the zoo to anyone who can find them. Wow! Did you hear that? Wow! I like Pencaster Zoo. Here's a picture of the missing butterflies. As you can see, they're very big and colourful. Wow! You could look for them this afternoon if you like. Hooray! But remember, if you find them, be gentle, because butterflies are very delicate. <laughs> What do you think, Alf? Ah, uh, lovely, dear. Yeah! 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 Quiet! Everyone, quiet! Are we going to look for the butterflies? Yeah! 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 What's that? Oh, butterfly net. It's too big. They'll fly off when they see that. You want one like mine? Follow me. <laughs> Be quiet. That's a pretty hat, Dorothy. Oh, thank you, Pat. It's funny, Jess, but I'm sure there's something familiar about that hat. Wow. <laughs> Tell 
here. <laughs> oh, there it is. Come on, little butterfly. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh. It's just a flower. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Pat. Come and look at this, Arthur. There's a lovely flower I saw here earlier. Never seen one like it before. I found it this morning when I... Oh, it's gone. Meow. Oh, dear, that's a pity. It was lovely. Do you know, it was just like the decoration on Dorothy's hat. I hope she didn't go and pick it. You're not supposed to pick wildflowers. Oh, you got a new hat after all, did you? It's lovely. Such a pretty decoration. Oh, do you think so? And so many beautiful colours. No, only cherry coloured. Oh! Very nice. Um, <clears throat> you know you're not supposed to pick wildflowers, Dorothy, don't you? I haven't. What's that, then? Just a bunch of cherries. I don't know what you're talking about, Arthur. Bill, Mr. Pringle said they're delicate. Come 
on, Jess. <laughs> Sorry, Dorothy. Just stand still for a moment. Look! They escaped from Pancaster Zoo, Mum. They're going to give free passes to anyone who catches them. Oh! Aren't they lovely? Uh, we need something to put them in. Oh, I've got just the thing. I bought some new storage boxes. Here we are. Thanks, Dorothy. We'll buy you another one. They need some holes so they can breathe. They were on your hat. We all thought it was a flower. I think they're like your bunch of cherries. So that's why Mrs Goggins said it had lots of colours. Oh. Well done, everyone. I'll take the butterflies back to the zoo now. And don't forget to ask for our free passes, Pat. I won't, Bill. <laughs> don't worry. Hope you've had a good time, you two. Time to go home now. Wow! Hey. I'm so sorry about your hat, Dorothy, dear. Oh, that's OK. I don't think it was really me, anyway. I like the old scarf. It's, um... Oh! My hat! Practical. <laughs> Stop! My hat! Come back! Stop! La 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 Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, here is a funny one. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's a square lollipop. It's for Ted Glenn. Oh. Excuse me, Jess. <coughs> it's special delivery, so Ted's got to sign for it. Right you are. You be careful out there today, Pat. Snow's settling good and proper. <laughs> You're right there, Mrs Goggins. Come on, Jess. <coughs> It's only snow. <laughs> oh dear. Perhaps it is a bit deep for you. <laughs> Don't fall off. Dear, he's not in. That means I'll have to come back. Hello. 
You're all ever so good. Cheers, Dad. <laughs> I don't suppose any of you have seen Ted, have you? I need him to sign for a parcel. No, I haven't seen him. Sorry. Doesn't he help our Jay on the train today? Oh, perhaps you're right. My mum wants him to clear snow off our drive, but he says he hasn't got a snow shovel. Oh. Come on, let's go. Bye, Bye Pat. Pat. Bye, Pat. Bye, Pat. <laughs> I'd love to have a go on a snowboard, Jess. Meow. Well, we didn't have snowboards when I was a lad. Meow. Coming, Jess. Meow. <laughs> oh, all right, Jess. You stay there. Meow. Oops. Hello, Pat. The snow's getting deep, isn't it? It is, Nisha. Morning, Reverend. Good morning, Pat. Uh, more tea, Vicar? Oh, bless you. Takes more than a bit of snow to stop the Greendale rocket getting through. <laughs> right, Ajay. Here you are. Is Ted around? I've got this parcel for him. No, not yet. Shall I hang on to it for him? Well, thanks, but it's a special delivery. He's got to sign for it. OK. Never mind. I'll catch him later. Bye, Ajay. Bye. One for you, Pat. Ah, lovely. Surrender. You win. Come on, Dad. Play snowballs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've got to get up to Thompson Ground for my next delivery. Bye. Bye, Bye Pat. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Let's make a snowman. Yeah. 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 Whoa. Ooh, this is getting a bit bad, Jess. All aboard! All aboard! Oh. <coughs> hey! Oh. Hey! hey. Oh. I am! <gasps> oh no! Bill, stop! Hey! There's, 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 there's too much momentum! You are? Momentum! It's, it's, it's velocity times mass! Eh? It's too big! We won't be able to stop it! Why didn't you say so? I did! Look out! Oh, it's going towards the railway. What if the train hits it? It's big enough to make it come off the rails! Oh, no! It'll be coming soon! We've got to stop the train. How do we do that? Um, um, wave. We always wave. We've got to phone the station. But it's miles to the nearest phone. No, there's one at my house, at Thompson Ground. It's not that far. That's where Dad said he was going. OK. Let's split up. You lot, come with me up to Thompson Ground and see if we can find Pat. And you lot, run along the bank and watch out for the train. Dad'll know what to do. 
if we can find him. I can't hear if you all talk at once. It's we made a big train. snowball. We made a big snowball and it's rolled down the hill. And it went on the railway line. And the train will come off the rails if we don't stop it in time. It's on its way right now. Oh, we must stop it. Hmm. No, we'll never make it in time. My van's hopeless in this snow. I know. Oh! Try it with this, Dad. It'll help you keep your balance. Oh, right. Don't worry, everyone. We'll stop the train. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Dad could snowboard. Me neither. Oh no! Yeah! He's brilliant. Oh, it's coming! Oh no! Wave! I just hey, stop, stop it, Children do love steam trains. <laughs> Aye, they do that. Ajay! Hey, stop, 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 stop! What on earth? Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch out! Oh! Oh, oh no! Hey, what's happening? We did it! We did it! Ah! Oh, help! Oh. Thanks, Pat. That was close. Well done, Pat. You saved the train. Oh, no. It was the children, really. <sighs> It'll take hours to clear that. We've only got the coal shovel. How am I going to get my passengers to Pancaster? Ted, I've been looking for you. This is yours. It's my new snow shovel. You've got to sign for it. It's a special delivery. <laughs> oh, I ordered it last week so I could help Mrs. Pottage clear snow off her drive. That's just what we need, Ted. Right you are. <laughs> That's it. Thanks, Ted. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, everyone. You're most welcome. God bless us all. All aboard! All aboard! Full steam ahead! <laughs> well, I'd best go back and check Jess is all right. 
See you later, everyone. Goodbye. Uh, and mind you, stay away from the railway track in future. Yes, Dad. Oh. Got you. Oh, so you want to play, eh? OK, come on. Take that. <laughs> Got you. Yeah. Oh, okay, you have to win. Go on then. <laughs> you and you, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Mum, we're going to be late for Mira. Hold on, Julian. Oh, where did I put my purse? You know what, Dad? Bill Thompson said that Captain Zap is the best film he's ever seen. I know. I wish I could come and see it. Ah, oh, here it is. Come on, Jess. Meow, meow. Nisha and Mira will be waiting for us at the railway station. <laughs> There's plenty of time, Julian. <laughs> come on. Meow. I'll drop you off on my way to work. What's the matter? We can't go to the cinema. Why not? The babysitters let us down. Oh, what a shame. Uh, huh? uh, uh, um, I'll look after Nikhil if you like. I can take him on my post round with me. Can you, Dad? Brilliant! Uh, are you sure, Pat? No problem, Nisha. Well, I suppose it'll be all right. Uh, this is Nikhil's baby bag, and here's his food, and this is Green Rabbit. He loves it more than anything in the world. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll look after Nikhil <laughs> and Green Rabbit. <laughs> oh, I can see you're going to be a postman when you grow up, Nikhil, just like your Uncle Pat. Hold on to Green Rabbit, Nikhil. You don't want to lose him, do you? Oh. Did you ever see a bonnie wee bairn? postman today. <laughs> My word, Pat, you've got your hands full. <laughs> I certainly have, Julia. <laughs> Can I take Nikhil to see the sheep, Pat? I'm sure he'd love that, Katie. Yeah! <laughs> uh, sorry, Julia. I think I'd better go with them. Hey, wait for me! Oh, poor Pat. <coughs> oh, Nikhil! <coughs> Don't worry, Nikhil. I'll get Green Rabbit. Whoops!
It's got to be here somewhere. Ah, got it. <laughs> oh, no, my trousers. <laughs> Here's Green Rabbit, Nikhil. I'd forgotten what a handful of baby can be, Jess. Oh, I hope Nikki will be all right. He'll be fine, Nisha. Take the Reverend his post, shall we, Nick? Ah, oh, I see you have a little helper this morning, Pat. <laughs> yes, he's a bit of a handful. Nick, you. I don't remember our Julian being half as much hard work. I can see you. Whoa, careful, Nick. Got you. Oh, dear. Where's Green Rabbit gone? <laughs> ah, there he is. <coughs> oh, suffer the little children. Morning, Alf. Morning, Pat. Hello, Ickle Wickle Nikhil. <coughs> Does Ickle Wickle want his Auntie Dolly? <coughs> All right, Nikhil, but we can't stay long or nobody in Greendale will get the post today. Oh, hello, Nikhil. Oh. Have you come to help Auntie Dolly? <laughs> you little scamp! Ah, oh dear. Now I'll have to clean him up. It'll take me all day to deliver the post at this rate. Why don't you leave Nikhil with me while you finish, Pat? Oh, Dorothy, thank you. That'd be a big help. I'll be as quick as I can. Bye-bye, Nikhil. Have a nice time with your Auntie Dolly. Bye-bye, <laughs> Green Rabbit.
Well, that's the post delivered, Jess. Wow. We'd better pick Nicky up and give him his tea. I hope he's had a good time with Dorothy. Sure is having a lovely time. <laughs> oh, there, there. Shh, Nikhil. Whatever's the matter, Dorothy? Oh, Pat. Oh, dear. Nikhil's been miserable ever since you left. Here's a Kilwickle's nice warm bottle of milky wilky. Tried everything, but nothing seems to help. Hold on. Where's the rabbit? It was playing with it in the vegetable patch. We've got to find green rabbit. <laughs> oh, I can't see it, Pat. What's that over there? Ah! Oh! What's that, Jess? Meow. That doesn't look like a carrot to me. Aha! Look what I found, Dorothy. Green rabbit. Shush! Patty Lukey for Wickle Wabbit! Thank goodness for that. It's nice to have a bit of peace and quiet, Jess. Look, Nikhil. Here comes the train. <laughs> Nikhil! Nikhil! Hello, Nikhil. How are you, darling? Hiya, Nikhil. Dad! Dad! Captain Zat was fantastic! Oh, that's great, Julian. How did you get on with Nikhil, Pat? Yeah, he was fine, Nisha. <laughs> We've had a funny bunny day, haven't we, Nikhil?